everyone. Welcome back to Adobe Live here on Behance. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, everyone in the chat. Good to see you. This week, we are focusing on lettering, and we have the one and only Jill Dahan here with us. Hello. Hello, Jill. So, Jill, you've been with us for the last two days. This is the last day. Yep. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Excited, yep. oh, but yeah. also sad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Shauna awesome. says, your sweater is so cute, Jill. Oh, thanks. I love it, too. Nice. Yay, there you go. <laughs> Straight away with the compliments. I love this chat. So nice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be focusing on lettering this week. Like I said, today's the last day, so thank you so much for sticking with us all week. Maybe we can pop over to my screen. We can show some of Jill's work while you introduce yourself to us. For those of you who have not uh, met Jill yet. <laughs> oh, you want me to talk? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I just, here's my website. Yeah. You're from <laughs> so my work, I'm Salt from Lake Utah. City. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. Well, Ogden, Utah, technically. But technically. Anyway, so uh, here's some of the stuff that I do. I like to try a lot of different mediums and usually incorporate lettering and some illustrations. So, right. Um, yeah. Sometimes digital, sometimes traditional. It just depends on the project. So Definitely. And so yesterday we focused on traditional. Mm -hmm. Well, you did. I mm -hmm. didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, and you finished a whole piece in about two hours, which is incredible. Did you bring it up? I did. You? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Let's show it. Uh, because today's giveaway is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be giving away the piece that Jill finished yesterday uh, in about an hour. So make sure that you stick around for Bring. that. Oh, yes. That little guy. Awesome. Maybe you can pop it under the GoPro so we oh, can... Yeah. See it Let's there. See it under there. Let's do this. Down? There you go. Perfect. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I know people are so excited that they want to win. Yay! Fun. Perfect. So every stream we like to do a giveaway, uh, just to thank you for being active and participating and interacting with us. So in about an hour, all you'll have to do is be active in chat, ask questions, and we'll work some Adobe magic in pick a random winner. We also like to have a different theme for a contest every day. So the first and second days were different themes. The first day was making a letter, like hand lettering a letter in Photoshop or Illustrator. Uh, yesterday was hand lettering a whole word. And today we're going to take inspiration from Becca Clayson, who is one of the other designers here on stream today. And she uh, is really awesome at making words out of objects and food and other tangible things. So that's what we want you to do. Check out the contest tab at be.net slash live if you want the nitty gritty on how to submit your work, but just create a word out of tangible objects. It could be uh, someone did lentils last stream, pine cone needles or pine needles, uh, coffee, beans. It could be anything. Lots of office supplies, which makes me think that people are watching this while they're at work, mm -hmm. which I love. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, Mercedes says, Jill, you really rock. Ah, thanks, Mercedes. Truly <laughs> rock. I saw my rip on there. Cat, yay! Oh, hey, cat. Kitty cat. There you go. <laughs> how you doing, cat? Nice to see you in yeah. chat. Diego, how Hello, you doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, Nina says, I'm at work. <laughs> yes. You just got to use what's around you. Right. Sometimes. We've all been there before. <laughs> Uh, so the first day that we streamed, we covered something a little different. We covered Font Self, mm -hmm. which is an extension that you can use in Photoshop or Illustrator CC to make your own fonts, which has always been kind of unattainable, uh, a difficult task to say the least, but Font Self makes it super easy. And like I said, the first day's contest was we were asking you to create letters, and we've been kind of hinting at what are we going to do with these letters? Well, mm -hmm. right now we are going to unveil that we are going to make an Adobe Live chat alphabet. So all of the submissions that you sent over, we picked our favorites, we picked the best of the best, and we're going to make a font out of it, and we're going to make it downloadable uh, and fo available for all of you. So mm -hmm. maybe we can hop over to Jill's screen, and we can see all of the, the choices that we've made and how we're going to go about making this font. Yeah, you guys did such an awesome job with all these beautiful letters. Yeah, let's zoom in and look at some of them. Let's check these puppies out. I know, so, that's Annie's A, yep, Soren's F, Jasmine's B. Yeah, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look how cool they are. Dana's J. Really nice. That mm -hmm. R. The R is my favorite. It was my, been I my love favorite that R. submission. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. They, they all have really neat things about them. So. Mm -hmm. Good on you guys. So let's turn this into a font. Yes, let's start very from the very beginning. So you downloaded okay. uh, Font Self, and it's an extension. Yep. So you and so you just open, you go, go up to Window, Extensions, Font Self Maker, and open that puppy up. I just closed it. Let's open <laughs> it again. 
there we go. Okay, and then uh, from there you just open your file and you go ahead and put every letter on its own layer. Okay. So you see they're all in their very own layers. And then now what we're gonna do to make it so it all um, imports into font self evenly and doesn't have weird uh, spaces okay. is we need to put them all, all the letters on one line. Ah. So um, let's do that really quick. Oh, is this not, uh, that's not a flip. Okay, let's just scoot them all over. Perfect. Okay, so this will just take me a second. Yeah, Jill is the master of font self. Not really, <laughs> not all. <laughs> but, You're the resident master. But it's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> count. Yeah, Calliope, the Q is really good. I love the Q also. Oh, so great. Everyone is saying their favorite letter. What's your favorite letter, Yay, chat? Yay, toss them out. Let us know. I like the U, of course, because it's illustrated mm -hmm. and very cute. Ryan, yes, we did get your ampersand, and maybe we can make an updated version with that in it as a glyph. Um, Emily, why is it that the font creator is part of Photoshop and not a vector-based program like Illustrator? So you can open this extension in Illustrator. It's for both Photoshop and Illustrator CC. Um, sorry, I just want to make it a little bit Oh, bigger. you're fine. Where's my canvas? There we go. Do your thing. Because it needs to be quite large to get all these in here. Right. <laughs> Definitely. Big, big file sizes. We were trying to email this file back and forth today, and it was... <laughs> Taking quite a long time. So this is the, the most time intensive part right here, but once you have all this done, it like takes no time at all. Yeah, you like click a couple buttons and you export it and boom. Mm -hmm. You got a font. It's just unfortunate that you have to watch me sit here and do this. Oh, that's okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll juggle for the chat, proverbial okay. juggling. Uh, chat, who in here is, uh, this is their first time watching. We love saying hello to you if it's your first time. Uh, is it a paid plugin? Yes. You do need to pay for it. There is a discount for educators and students, I believe. I wish I would have made a letter. You should so have. sad, I know. It would have been beautiful. There are a lot of things that I, like yesterday I was gonna be drawing while you were working, but I was just like, no. You should have, you can do it today. Well, might be too late now, but <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it's good. I like when the, the spotlight is on the designers, it's good. Uh, Pauline, it's your first time. Everyone calls me Muffin, though. What? What's up, Muffin? How are you doing? <laughs> What's up, Muffin? <laughs> Sean, it's your second time here. Awesome. Mitch, it's your first time watching Jill today. Does that count? <laughs> sure, Mitch. Sure thing. Anything Why for not? you. <laughs> uh, William says that the extension is worth every penny. I so love it. Awesome. Man. It's yeah. great. Yeah, and Will uh, Patterson, who was on previously, says he also uses it. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, Sabrina, it's your first time. Never knew Behance had live lettering feeds. Awesome. Thanks so much for being here. All right. So we got all those things on one line, and that will just make them import import better. Mm -hmm. So so now you just seriously just uh, select all of them and so then drag them over here and drag them onto the uppercase. Right. And then they will populate. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Sarah, this is pretty neat. Love seeing everyone's work together. So fun. Yeah, Sarah, so fun. we used your X. <laughs> I had to edit it a little bit, had to take the needles out, but mm -hmm. that is your X. Yeah. Okay, so now, and, and like I said before, you can fiddle with your letter spacing, which is cool, a cool thing yeah. to be able to do. Um, and then export it, and what should we call it? Adobe Live. Adobe Live. Woohoo. Is that one word? All yes, one word? it is okay. one word. <laughs> Okay, and then hit OK, and then we're going to save it to my font self folder here. Perfect. And then now all I have to do is go to my I'm calendar. so excited. I know, I'm so excited too. <laughs> <laughs> and then, dee -dee -dee, font self. Okay, and here it is. So now I am installing it. Easy peasy. And then I seriously just installed that font in my computer, and that's so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, excited about so can we maybe look at Heck yes. Like, check it out a little bit. Let's change this one, too. I am so very sorry. I'm very so sorry. <laughs> it should have been named Gus. Mitch, why? Aw. I mean, Gus is amazing, but... Gus is amazing. Gussel. He did He did help me put together. <laughs> I'm working on your nickname, Gus. Gussel, with a T. Gussel. We were yeah. brainstorming <laughs> like bustle. your nicknaming, or your nickname yesterday. You were. <laughs> Look how fun! Ah, uh, oh, right. I forgot that I said this stupid thing yesterday. <laughs> Whenever it was. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about it. Okay. All right. What should we say? Yay, team. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. So that I think that's supposed to be the V. Uh, oh, really? Did yeah. it go in? Uh, did it recognize it as something else? I guess so. 
Huh. Adobe. Adobe. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah the right. X uh, and the V. Okay. Well, that's the U. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Problem solving. So, chat, this is what you did. You did this. Mm -hmm. You submitted your letters. You participated in the contest. We appreciate all of it. And we're going to make this font available to you. So maybe for the next stream, we will have a link for you. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Yay! Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. And if you uh, have any more questions or about the contest or anything, yes, <laughs> claps, claps. <laughs> uh, so cool. I know. Thanks. So fun. Yeah, I agree. A lot of talented people in chat. Mm -hmm. Emily says, "It's such a cool plugin. I'm so excited." Go make fonts. <laughs> William said, "This is your fault, everyone. You did this. <laughs> That's funny. You did this thing." <laughs> Um, so yeah, back to the contest. It is different today. Like I said, it's inspired by Becca Clayson's uh, kind of tactile lettering. So while we are working, while Jill is working on uh, Photoshop sketch uh, or maybe Illustrator draw, whatever you want to mm -hmm. use, uh, <laughs> make sure you're working on your contest. So get some image or get some objects out. Maybe I'll use a tissue. Maybe I'll rip it up a little bit. Who knows? <laughs> uh, take a picture of it and then send it to us. Find more info on the contest tab. Sweet. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Jill, take us through what you're gonna do today. Okay, so I was thinking today I would um, like take, I'll say that one. Um, I would take like one phrase and uh, letter it in four different ways just to show like how, so cool. how different you can get with just one uh, mm -hmm. thing. So um, I was going to do uh, kids these days. Kids that these is something days. I say a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I identify as like an 87 year old woman. So right. basically, <laughs> but also a very young spirit too. Yeah, exactly, it's a nice mixture. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this other pen so you can see it better because I remember you couldn't see it super well. Ah, nice. Yes, Trudy. Nice, nice. Okay, so um, I was gonna start with one that is more flourished. Um, so when I like start a project like this, I just think about the letters, how long they are. Uh, you think about the ascenders and descenders, uh, the ones you can use to fill it out and make mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, a design. So um, I was thinking we've got three words here, so it'd be fun to. Oops, let's get my color going here. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I need to plug my pen back in. Okay. Can I do that really quick? Yeah, sure. Sorry. We might have. A more charged up pen if you... Well, it needs to sync to my iPad. Uh, oh, I see, I see. I hate it how it does that. Yeah, there's there's some uh, user experience issues mm -hmm. with the Apple <laughs> pen and the iPad Pro. I but love them, know. but come on. I know, it can't be perfect. Uh, Pauline, what is Jill working on, an iPad or a Cintiq? So this is an iPad Pro. Uh, I think we... There we go. I think we figured out that it was the 10 and a half inch, the original size. There we go, sorry about no, that. No, you're good. And you're going to be using yeah, Photoshop Sketch, which is an amazing mobile app, totally free. It's like a mini Photoshop. Oh, you got to plug in the iPad. I did. It, it is. Maybe unplug and replug. Oh, okay. Technical. Difficulties. They're not difficulties, just technical mm -hmm. occurrences. <laughs> uh, but Photoshop Sketch is a free app, like mini Photoshop, <laughs> on your mobile device. Android. Android. Android and Apple devices are both compatible. You can even do it on your phone, but it might be a little bit difficult. Wild Francisco appears <laughs> and disappears. <Thank> you. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. No worries. Does yes. it work? Yay. Ba, ba, ba. Here we are. Yay. Kids these days. Kids these days. Let's do you this know? thing. <laughs> okay. So um, I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to do this on an angle, I think. So. I like to just draw on my little base lines here. So that will be for kids. And then because the T is going to come down further, I'm going to have, I'm going to scoot this over here and have the T come down right over here. And then days. So let's <clears throat> have that be our, like our basic where the words are going to go. And then um, from there, I like to just kind of just try it out. Just like start drawing it in and then we can fiddle with it later. Um, that's what's fun about using like the iPad and everything is you can like move things around and erase mm -hmm. it and you don't have to feel bad. I know you don't like to erase things. <laughs> it's not <laughs> but... like I don't like to erase it, but I just don't do it. Yeah. Which it's is like not, which is a good practice, honestly. I think that's really I think that's really cool. Yeah, thanks. Thanks um, a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get this written in here. 
Wow, just like that, and it's done. Well, I like to. I want to use a Z because I think that's kind of a funny. Yeah, something that the kids would say. Yeah, the hip kids these days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. Okay, so now I'm going to um, take that and I'm just going to kind of transform it and like move it to where I want it to be on the page. Does it mm -hmm. turn? There we go. Oh yeah, free transform. Let's see if we can. What well, looks best? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, zoom in. And then I'm just gonna lighten that. Whoops, not transform, sorry. I'm gonna lighten it. So drop that opacity. Gonna, yeah, drop the opacity, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then start a new layer here. Just so that's just like my faint right. guide. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there we can go in and be a little more deliberate here. So, um, let's see, I'm just trying to think of how I should do it. Boom. Yeah, so Adobe's uh, Photoshop sketch has come a long way. There wasn't always free transform. There wasn't always layers. Uh, and now it's basically like a mini Photoshop. Like uh, little tools get added, at, uh, lots of updates during the year. It's totally compatible with your CC subscription if you have one. So if you have one, you can send these layered files straight into Photoshop on your desktop. It's like magic. You just click a button and Photoshop opens on your desktop or your laptop uh, without having to do anything. So cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, in October, it was announced that Kyle T. Webster's uh, brushes were going to be available in both Photoshop if you have a CC sub subscription, but also in Photoshop Sketch. There's a select group that is available and they are so delicious. <laughs> I love his brushes. <laughs> oh, me too. They're so good. Yeah, I say they're delicious because my favorite one is called Deliciously Dry. Oh, no. Deliciously Dry Brush. <laughs> oh, this is a great question from Emily. Okay. Jill, do you have any advice for keeping a steady hand when lettering on the iPad? Her strokes can be a little wobbly. Well, obviously mine are too. <laughs> <laughs> but I seriously obviously. just like, I just like rest my soft pad of flesh right there. <laughs> my <laughs> flesh meat. Right. <laughs> Use I just, it to my advantage. <laughs> I do that and then I just kind of, and then you just like, if you just like slide with that, then you can mm -hmm. keep it pretty. You yeah. Know, just keep that as your base. Right. I think your lines will definitely get smoother if you utilize more of your entire body. Like if you are just using your hand or just your fingers to draw, you might be wobbly and you also might be a little bit skewed. Mm -hmm. But if you use either your whole forearm, your whole arm, your whole torso, it just gets more and more fluid. Mm -hmm. Or you could use uh, Illustrator Draw, which is another mobile app, and it's based around Illustrator. So there is some brush smoothing if you'd like to use that. So the fun thing about this, and this is why I love doing this kind of stuff, is it's just like you just kind of fiddle and play with it until it gets to a place that is fun for you. That you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, I like to make little connections here and the, here and there. Like I thought maybe that it would be cool if these connected. You know, I thought that could be kind of fun. But yeah. then I got looking at it and I was like, that's, I don't know, it's a little too much. So I don't. If you find those cool little connections. That doesn't mean you have to use them, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of nice to use restraint sometimes mm -hmm. and not have everything be so connected. But yeah. Just kind of play with what looks cool to you. Yeah, what do you think, chat? I think it's looking pretty good. <laughs> I do. It reminds me kind of like of Looney Tunes. Ooh. Like that's all folks, <laughs> kids these yeah. days. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I left this Y open so we could do something fun with it. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do. Could go big. Could be fun. And that's another thing that's fun about this is you can seriously just like, oh, let's just do a new layer and draw right over it and you yeah. know, just keep playing around with it. It's yeah. so fun. So something that this is super useful for, it's just like using um, with traditional lettering, using your um, what is it called? Tracing paper? And, yeah, you know, totally. So keep doing renditions, you know, and whatever. So it, this is just an easier way to do that. Yeah, basically. that's what I was just thinking of. But you don't need a Xerox machi machine. Exactly. You don't need a copier. It's so nice. No paper cuts happening. Yeah, like I see something like this would be uh, nice for, um, like you could you could figure out your design on here and then just print it off and then yeah. create it the real thing, you know? Yeah, definitely. So yesterday when Jill was working traditionally, she had a really a well thought out color sketch done 
in Photoshop Sketch, and you could have printed that out and then used like a light box and went from there, but didn't quite have those resources at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I would normally work at yeah. home. So. Right. Oh yeah, sorry, my dress is a little psychedelic. Maybe I'll put my jacket on. If you look in the monitor, it's like very, whoa. Oh, that's true. It's called like <laughs> more, more, hey, or something. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I love it. I love it. Will was just here. Oh yeah, so now you've picked up the, the accent. My fake accent. The fake accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know if anybody watching watches any vloggers on YouTube, but I think Will sounds exactly like Alfie Days. He's uh, like he's from Britain, mm -hmm. or, like not Britain, obviously. <laughs> he's from Brighton. <laughs> oh, uh, Brighton. so I'm wondering if Will is from somewhere near there because I have a really similar accent. Ah, uh, he told me where he's from, and I can't remember what he said. <laughs> good story. Uh, Florencia is wondering, what is some good advice on how to decide the shapes of your swirls in uh, flourishes because they work so harmoniously? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, that's just, I like you see me, I keep like erasing and trying new things because I think you just kind of need to do that to just kind of fill it out and see what, what uh, fits well together. Like I feel like this part isn't working for me very much. I, I don't know, I kind of like it to be a little more even, so. Probably gonna have to fiddle with that. Yeah. A little bit. I think you have to think about your flourishes as like just design elements too. Mm hmm. Not. Definitely. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe thinking about them a little bit differently and not as connected pieces to words, just mm -hmm. as shapes. Yeah, totally. And I, I'm just, I keep like sitting back and like looking at it. It's nice to look at it up on the screen, like right. far away. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I need more space over there. You totally. Know? That's actually a great to resource get to have. This situation set up at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Chase is from Earth. Greetings. Awesome, Chase. <laughs> Glad to have you. We Glad also. To have you. Yeah, right? Come a long way. <laughs> uh, we love hearing where you're from in chat. We are in San Francisco. It is raining today, which I was not aware of yeah. when I left the Tears. house. <laughs> I might have showed up to the office a little bit damp <laughs> from the outside place. <laughs> uh, is there a number to share the challenge results in social or hashtag? Um, you can always hashtag Adobe Live if you want to post on Twitter or Instagram. We like taking a peek through those. I have a little collection on my Instagram that I save of Instagrams that I see that were Adobe Live contributions. Robzilla's in the house. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, what's a fun brush to use? Which brush have you found that you like to use? That's mm. a good like. Yeah, let's look in his if you long press in like the top. This one? brush or that one? Oh, this one. It doesn't matter. matter. Okay. Uh, and then when you look through those, are those the Kyle brushes? Do some of them say Kyle? Oh, there's so many. I know. Look at all these fun brushes. I know. So I really like like uh, dry brush mm -hmm. e textures. So maybe I like, like that those. too. Those okay. all look pretty sleek. Maybe a, f a little bit further down. Or that one looks good. Yeah. Let's see. Large graphite could be fun. Are they all um, pressure sensitive? Yep. Yeah, if they have those kind of uh, tapered ends on the end of the stroke, oh, then that's what yes. That Woo! That is a blast. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> yeah, I love the variety of brushes you guys have on here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Thanks, wow. Adobe. <laughs> yeah, there used to only be like five. Yeah. Now they're five times a, a million. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Tim is totally right. If you want to share your submission on uh, social, feel free to, but that's not where we're going to be picking the winners from. You have to submit via the form that's on the contest tab oh, at be.net slash live. Okay, we're going to do this one. Okay. So, Love that. A little bit of pressure there to give mm -hmm. us our thicks and thins. So nice. That's a fun brush, I like that one. <laughs> Moni says, I bought some of the Kyle brushes even before it's a part of the subscription. Me too. Me too, I did too. <laughs> but uh, they're not, I don't think they're all included in the subscription. Like his mega packs are jimungus. Jimungus. And also you're supporting him, so that's great. <laughs> We've got some awesome subs or not subscriptions and <laughs> contest uh, submissions in so <laughs> far. We 
you can maybe take a peek at a couple of them while you're working. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, if you don't want to be distracted, don't feel like you have to look, oh, okay. <laughs> but, but you're totally welcome to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe this is by Kevin. If I'm right, he didn't send it through the form, but uh, he wanted me to show it, so here mm -hmm. I am showing it. Clowns. Are you scared of clowns? Not us. Yeah, you're just kind of like, they're just people. <laughs> just goony guys. <laughs> they're just goony guys. <laughs> True. <laughs> that makes them a lot less scary. Mm -hmm. Here's a smile made with earbuds. So cool. Ooh, mm -hmm. what are these? They look like Pokeballs. <laughs> Sweet. But that says pie. Nice, nice, nice. I like the size of these. Mm -hmm. um, if they were any smaller, like the word might be too thin. So nice mm -hmm. job. Ooh, so this looks like it might have been a submission for yesterday. It's not an actual physical uh, lettering object, but it's really nice. Love the color choices. Same situation for this one. Really nice, also published in the past, but thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Oh nice, somebody did the Adobe <laughs> logo with Post-it and Eat with maybe tape. Nice. I love this, I love how you cut this out and made, or no, you didn't cut it out, you painted it or marked it, but if you did cut it out, that would be cool too. <laughs> oh, that's right, I thought it was cut out too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We got Chase. Monies. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Two dollar bills, dollar bills, dollar coins. You got a, these are not dollar coins, are they? <laughs> I, don't I don't even know what a dollar coin looks like. Oh, those are a lot of them, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chase. Got a collection. You're swimming in it. <laughs> nice, Dana. Got nuts made of peanuts. <laughs> I like that. This one's really strong, I think. Spicy. Oh, no. Made with chipotle peppers. Really? Like, how did you get that on there? Yeah, did you I'm make wondering. like a stencil or something? Or make it wet? Potentially. Oh, I bet. Did you make it wet and mm -hmm. then put it on there and then shake it off? Right, like stenciled, yeah. wet, shook it. Wow, that one's really good. Mm -hmm. Well done. Right. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. I feel like that's, uh, that's how I feel when I lose my socks to the dryer monster. It sucks. You're stealing my socks. <laughs> Buy money. Oh, that's pretty. Mm hmm. Create those pencil shavings. Yeah. And... Oh, I like it. Mm hmm. Multiple picks. Yeah, nice too. seeing the different angles. We can see your sketch underneath, which is really nice to see the process. Mm hmm. We've got dog by Chuck. Mm hmm. The dog bowl. Did the dog let you do this, or were they like really annoyed at you for keeping them from their food? Mm hmm. Love our dog. So noisy, though. Love to bark at the snow from the front window. Oh, look at this little guy. I love dogs. Looks like an old man. <laughs> He's an old man. man. <laughs> Yelling. Let's just look at pictures of dogs all day. Sounds good. That makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, nice job, Chuck. Little cuties. This is really nice by Lisa, making love out of some jewelry. Oh, there you go. That L's cool. Yeah, <laughs> right? I like it. I love the texture of the V and the E. Mm -hmm. The charms. Nice job. And we've got Quinoa by Sophie. Nice, that's cool. It that looks really yummy. Cutting it out. Like a little breakfast omelet. I know. <laughs> or as I called it when I first found out what quinoa was, quinoa. I think I called it that too. You know, quinoa. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can the world expect? Right. <laughs> nice job, everyone. We will be picking a winner in about an hour. So I'll keep showing these submissions as we get them in. Oh, I love the texture so much. Yeah, those are, what are you talking about? I'm talking about your okay. work. <laughs> I'm like, oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like that brush, it's a fun brush. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. I do that, can I, do you ever do that? You accidentally like push too hard and then it like erases something oh, you yeah. just did? Oh yeah, so you can redo it. Rude. If you, oh, you see that up there, cool. Oh, there we go, thank you. Yeah, there's also a gesture of the two fingers and you swipe right if you want to redo it or mm -hmm. left if you want to undo it. I'm, uh, I'll fiddle yeah. with that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, a command in there that you can see all the gestures. So chat, if you want to study up before you, before you get started. I think it, believe it's called Show All Gestures. Sweet. <laughs> Rob, can I submit? Rob, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> You're Rob. <laughs> You're Rob. Yeah, I don't know if you'll win. Honestly, Rob, because there's some tough competition. Mm -hmm. 
uh, to share on Instagram, hashtag Adobe Live. Yeah, go ahead and do that, and we might check it out later. But if you do want to submit to the actual contest, make sure you do it through the form on the contest tab. Okay, so there's like, you know, one way of doing that. <laughs> Nice. So now let's do another one. Let's turn this guy off. Um, for those of you that were asking, like, um, how do you even get started with lettering? I think this is a good um, practice to do: is to just take, I don't know, something, anything, something you say a lot, or you yeah, know, something like that, and just just letter it over and over again, mm -hmm. and just see, you know, where you go with it. That's a good way to practice, to practice that. So we just did like a flourishy one. Um, now we can try, should we do like a black letter kind of a Oh, heck yeah. One? I know, I love black letter. Sounds great. <laughs> I'm not like amazing at it, but, but I think it's really fun to fiddle with. And so see, it's like I you just keep trying and keep doing it and, and building up your font library in your head, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's nice I'm pulling up a grid, so it's nice that the, a grid is in here for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so, so I think we will stack it again because I just like doing that. Cool. Sarah says, this is so lovely, Jill. Aw, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Graham wants to know, what are the chances we all have a coupon code for font self? Don't have it. <laughs> not, not affiliated. But it is an awesome extension. If you're a student or a teacher, you can get a discount. <laughs> Cedric, when you switch back to pencil and paper, you try to double tap and swipe to undo. Ugh. Yeah. All day, every I'm day. I'm always like, even with normal tasks, <laughs> like I, you like trip, you know? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> close all windows. Yeah. <laughs> Command Q. Ooh, any other left-handed letters in chat? What's up, William? It's a tough life, isn't it? <laughs> Smearing everything. Everything's at a weird angle. Oh, yeah, you were left-handed, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which I, I embrace it, William, and I just say, like, okay, wonky and weird angles is, like, my thing. Yay. <laughs> it's, how, it's how my face falls. Yeah, bro. You know, it's all right. It would be an excellent prize. I agree, Jeanette. What, Fawn Self? Yeah. Yeah, it would be a good price. Mm -hmm. But as I've heard, worth the investment. Mm -hmm. uh, Vanessa's a lefty. Nathan's a lefty. So is Maya. Graham. Matthias. Kevin. We lefties need our own <laughs> alphabet. We need our own everything. <laughs> our own notebooks. Although you can make a left-handed notebook just by flipping your notebook upside down and backwards. <laughs> Lisa's a lefty. Cedric, you don't have to be sorry for being right-handed. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's strange though, when I'm like on a chalkboard, if I were to be like drawing with my finger, I can do both hands equally as well. Oh, that's funny. Or like finger painting. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, who knows? Okay. Oh, Gretchen says no Z's in this one? No. Not this one. I guess not. That's because she already did the S and it looks pretty good. Thanks for noticing, though. Yeah. I think throwing a Z in is always a good time. <laughs> there you go. Z is so zany. Oh, yeah. Lisa, you use the mouse right-handed, so do I. I pretty much only draw and eat with my left hand. <laughs> Everything else? Righty. Uh, Graham wants to know, do you ever use the rulers on your iPad Pro? No. No. You use the graph or the, yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got the graph paper here, but I mm -hmm. haven't used the rulers. Or the grid. I probably should. Well, yeah, the grid. Sorry, mm -hmm. the grid. No, I've, when I said that, I was like, my brain was like, wrong. that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Pick the other word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ooh, Emily, that's a great question. Jill, what's your favorite letter to draw? <gasps> oh, fun. Um, I think about it. Or a word. My favorite that? letter is E. Ooh. 
but I think A is my favorite one to draw. Okay. Because you can do a lot of fun things with an A. Yeah. Like that, you know, crossbar. You know, these? You know, these things, and you can do lots of fun things with serifs, and yeah, A is really fun. Yeah, I agree. So what about, why do you like E? so much um i don't know it's so cute it's just so like <laughs> it's just a little loop. letter e <laughs> just a bunch of loops yeah and it's just i don't know it seems like a good solid you know gumption kind of a yeah. letter mm -hmm. <laughs> it's on it's on it's in like almost every word I love it's a it. good old vowel yeah it's kind of the workhorse of the of the english alphabet mm-hmm Ah, uh, Robzilla is ambidextrous. Nice. You fancy? You super fancy. Rob, are your kids ambidextrous? I think maybe we talked about this. <laughs> What's up, Rob, though? How you doing? Staying warm? Where's Rob? Over in the DC area, I believe. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Chilly. <laughs> Just kidding. Beautiful, though. Yeah, very beautiful. The W Live team, Kathleen is ambidextrous. I'm like fake ambidextrous. Ooh, Sabrina likes the curse of F. It's a good one. Ooh, that is a good one. Yeah. I, in my own name, I really don't like a J. Really? I really don't like working with a J, mm -hmm. unfortunately. You know, I don't really like the K either. I don't like the K either. I've never been able to write like an, a K that I like. Yeah, it's like, tricksy. Like, uh. I don't know. I like my name. I married into a D though, so that's cool. Oh, nice. I like uh, the D is fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Danielle's favorites are Q, Z, S, D, J, A, M, N. I feel like I'm at the eye that's doctor. <laughs> Can you read Q? This? Good one. Yeah, right? That's brave. That is brave. That's Trixie for me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jessica doesn't like the J either. That J. Mm -hmm. She's a stinker, all right. People are seeming to say that they don't like the first letter of their name. They don't like writing yeah, it or drawing it. Yeah, isn't that funny? Because they're just forced to use it all the time. Right. <laughs> Mercedes says, K is amazing, but J is so hard to draw. <laughs> to each their own, right? Yep. Um, a couple of years ago, I decided I needed to redo my signature because it looked so dumb. And I was like, this is kind of like what I do. So yeah. I should probably nice. come up with a new signature. Mm -hmm. And so I played with the J until I liked it and practiced it and practiced it. And so now I have a fun signature. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Mine is very dumb. So maybe I should do something <laughs> similar. When I got married, I like didn't want to change my signature. So I really basically do <laughs> it the same. Mine. No, <laughs> I basically do the same, but just like kind of make it look like a different letter. Mm -hmm. Just bloop. My signature is one of those just like kind of squiggles though. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. what's your last name? Yeah. Martin. 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 That is with a British accent. <laughs> Martin. <think>. Martin. <laughs> my last name's illustrated. People seem to think. Or what? Like, <laughs> I like my artist name mm -hmm. is Kathleen Illustrated. Oh, like first okay. and last name. Your last name illustrated. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I mostly did that because when I was becoming like a professional illustrator. I was about to get married, and I was like, well, mm -hmm. people know me by my maiden name, and then they're going to know me by my married name, so why don't I just make up one? Right. <laughs> Anybody else do that in chat? Do you have an artist name? <laughs> Mitch says everyone always comments on how artistic his signature is. Nice, Mitch. I love to see someone pull out like a full calligraphy pen when they're doing their signature. Anywhere. Oh, it's amazing. Can I get you to sign here? Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me get my quill. I know some people, you know, care, obviously carry around pens all the time. They right. have special little pens that they sign with. I love that. I probably should do that. Because <laughs> it always looks better when you can get like some thicks and thins going, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I love using like a, uh, not totally brush tip, but like zebra pens are really nice. Mm -hmm. It's like felt mixed with brush. Get those thicks and thins. Robzilla, yes, you do have an artist name. <laughs> Maya has That's a writing it. name. Nice. Ooh, Kristen's artist name is Kristen May. Nice. I like that. This one's a little tricksy for me for some reason. It's coming along. <laughs> yeah, you can tell when I don't do this the style very often because it's 
doesn't come quite as naturally. Right. And you're but saying it, this or, is what's good. It's good yeah. to like try these new things so you can get used to doing them more. Right. Were you saying earlier that you like if you pra- you've practiced black letter enough that you kind of just know the shapes off well, the top of your head? Well, obviously not me, but oh, okay. <laughs> I did um I did like I said I took calligraphy in college and so I'm just trying I'm trying to think of like what the parallel pen is doing. Mm-hmm. And it's always going in that angle and will come down and then this will be right. fat right here, yeah. you know. So like that's kind of how I'm trying. It's hard. That's why I'm not talking very much because I'm like really trying no. to think of how to use that stupid pen. That makes sense. I'm sure there's a brush in here that would do the same kind oh, of thing. Oh, yeah, like but- a chisel tip. Yeah. You know, I find chisel tip digital pens Tricky. really hard to use. Yeah. They never work. And then work. they like taper off. And mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I want a crisp edge. Come on, keep it crisp. Yeah, so that's what's hard about it. <laughs> Uh, Eileen has a good question, wondering, is there a reason that you didn't duplicate the E, since you were going to have two? If there's a question for you, I know how to do that in a different program, but mm. in this one, uh, in the other program, I would just select it and right. duplicate it. How do I do it in this program? Yeah, I'm not sure if you can make selections in Photoshop Sketch. Maybe someone Does can. Does anybody know? Yeah, like, if you know, but be great. you could make it on its own layer mm-hmm. and duplicate the layer. Oh, okay. And yeah. then just erase everything else off. Yeah, or if I it's guess. just I'll do e. it on its own layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because I mean, if if I were in a like different program, I probably would have mm-hmm. just duplicated it. But it's also good to keep practicing these letters. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, yeah. People are saying it have to be on its own layer. Okay, I got you. Nice. We are on the same page. But Indeed. it's nice when you don't duplicate. Daniel is saying this because the more times you draw a letter, I agree. Who you are? I I obviously need practice with this kind. So with this kind of style so mm-hmm. I'm happy to redraw everything. <laughs> nice. Oh Daniel says that he used to be Quaker Ninja that was his kind of online name and Whoa. Daniel I remember seeing that name so it's nice to see <laughs> make the connection in my brain. What was the Quaker for? Did you eat lots of oatmeal? Or yeah something? let us know. His mm. icon is Quaker Oats. I love it. So what's up Jillian? How you doing? Is that wrong? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, she's Jillian. Because somebody, I have some friends oh, that call yes. me Jillian. Okay. I'm like, like who is it? <laughs> is that my friend, Ronnie? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, this is a good question from uh, Garafi. Mm-hmm. Are there any exercises that you recommend doing to get better at proportions? Proportions. Like uh, knowing that the A takes up this much space compared to the oh, Y. Oh, yeah. Well, it's always nice to have, it's nice to have a grid because then you can always keep your x height the Very same true. with all your letters mm-hmm. you know but um also it's really nice to just kind of step back a little bit and and look at it from further away because then you can see like oh that's obviously bigger over there there's too much space over here so i think it's good to just like pause for a second and step back and look at your artwork right often agreed and yeah. it's nice that you kind of have it over in this this monitor yeah i know i'm loving that there actually you go. <laughs> Make this smaller. Oh, Moni, thanks. Appreciate it. So I do want to welcome you all in chat. If you are just tuning in, be sure that you're watching us on Behance. The best link is be.net slash live. Uh, that way you can be chatting with us. Make sure you sign in with your Adobe ID or your Behance account. Chat with us because we are going to be doing a giveaway in about 15 minutes. <laughs> and today's giveaway is really special. Chat, what is the giveaway? Do you remember? Let's see if you put it in chat. <laughs> Behance, behave. Yeah, Daniel. I always call Behance, Behance. <laughs> but yeah, welcome chat. Thanks for joining us. I also love to hear how you found Adobe Live. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a hidden gem for people. Um, I heard people found it just by perusing Behance, clicking on the Live tab. They might get a notification in their Creative Cloud app. Yes, Jill's painting. That is what we're going to be giving away. Hey. Amazing. Maybe you can pop it under the GoPro so we can show it this off one more time. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Let's do this, mommy. That's Let's what do my this. baby says. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It should be like, That's quote, it. your baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have actually spelled it how he says it. Yes. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. That'd be so <laughs> cute, like in his room. I know. So cute. <laughs> Future project. Uh, right. <laughs> so you have the opportunity to win this beautiful painting by Jill DeHaan, an original. <laughs> All you have to do is be active in chat. So when I said log in with your Behance logins, make sure you do because don't you want to win? I want to win. 
Maybe I'll type something and maybe I'll win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Augustus found Adobe Live on YouTube. Augustus, that's a great name. <laughs> William says, pretty sure I already called dips. <laughs> Sorry, William, it's not how life works here on Adobe Live. <laughs> I wish it was, or else I would have called dibs. <laughs> Maya wants to win. Mikkel wants to win. Does the girl on the right have a Behance? Hello, yes, I'm girl on the right. <laughs> My name's Kathleen. Kathleen, yay. <laughs> You can find me online at Kathleen, Kathleen Illustrated, so <laughs> search that. Nope. 15 minutes. Oh, Shauna, yeah, you found out because Sid and Rocky have been on Adobe Live. Awesome. Sid and Rocky are both awesome illustrators. Hey, girl on the right. That's me. Hey, girl on the right. Hashtag girl of the day. Girl on the right. That's amazing. <laughs> Matthias, yeah, that was Gus whispering. Gus spot. Noelle calls double dibs. <laughs> Is that how that works? Double dibs. <laughs> A double dib dare ya. Okay. So... Maybe we'll fade this out a little bit. <laughs> Chuck says if he wins, he already has the frame picked out. Aw. So, nice, Chuck. <laughs> yes, if you win this poster, where would you put it? Would you give it to someone? Would you hang it in your kitchen, in your entryway, in your office? Kevin says, I think Adobe should make Behance and Adobe Live prominent on their site. I only just found you. Oh, gotcha, Kevin. So you'd want it to be more prominent just like on adobe.com? Uh, because on Behance, it is pretty, has its own tab. Adobe Live. Don't you know? Don't you know it? <laughs> uh, Garrett and Maya would put it in their office. Hang it over your desk for inspiration, says Sabrina. This app is Photoshop Sketch, which is a mobile app, totally free, totally juicy, <laughs> has awesome brushes, it is totally raster based. So if you do send this to Photoshop, if you have a CC subscription, you will get layered uh, PSDs, basically, that you can then kind of finish up in the desktop version of Photoshop if you'd like. Uh, if you use Illustrator Draw, you can get totally vector images sent straight to Illustrator on your desktop. All you do is click a button. When will we publish the challenge winner? Sophia, great question. So we are running a contest today. It is to create tactile lettering based on Becca Clayson's work. So grab some uh, rocks off the road or some blades of grass and make a letter out of it. And we want those to be sent over via the contest tab at be.net slash live. Click on that for more information. You have about 40 minutes to get that done and sent over. Jessica says watching people fill in their ink, their drawing is the favorite part. Her favorite part. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Seeing really nice line art is really satisfying. Maybe because it's something that I don't do very well. well it's fun on an iPad. Yes, that's true. Let's see. Yeah, Sophia, we will announce the winner on the live stream. So we'll probably announce it in about an hour. Steven wants to know what you think the best way of getting the forms of the letters right is. Repetition? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. Fiddling, repetition. Right. <laughs> like just filling pages. And just look at a lot of mm -hmm. look at a lot of stuff. Like right. looking at old old books and like Pinterest, I have a I have a cool like a calligraphy board on Pinterest mm -hmm. and a lettering board and you know, a bunch of different boards for different things. And just to just have a collection of, of examples is super helpful. There you go. 
And as important as looking is, it's also really important to like execute and try your actual Absolutely. hand at it. You can yeah. look at so much inspiration, and then at the end of that session, you'll be like, "I made so much good art." Wait, I just looked at a bunch right. of art, and now you're all tired creatively. You gotta at least do I it. have. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for sure. Ah, RetroSupply.com has an amazing lettering library. Oh, nice, sweet. Pauline. Thanks. Ooh, that's a great question, Lisa. She's wondering if you think there are any recent trends in lettering. Like, what's hot right now? What's oh hot with gosh, the kids? All, it's just like things move so quickly nowadays. Mm -hmm. There's always some new fun thing going on. Um, I'm trying to think, what have I seen a lot lately? I don't. I don't know if I could tell you. <laughs> there's, there's just a lot. Of, I know, and I'm guilty of this too. Actually, like this kind of stuff where there is a word and stuff weaving in and out mm -hmm. of it. I see a lot of that. Right. Lately, because it's fun. Yeah. It's so fun to do. Right. Uh, Daniel's saying polychromatic fonts are hot. Yes. True. Yeah. Like Especially with the most fun gradients recent stuff. update of Illustrator. There's some goodness like that. Gradients, totally. Black letters definitely was, yeah, black letter was trending last year or the last couple years. Hashtags are so hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> brush lettering, yeah. Yeah, brush lettering's been going for a while mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. Do you like brush lettering? Oh yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yes, that's pretty much what I, I like to brush letter it and then maybe I'll like go back and add more illustrative elements to it. Sweet. Yeah. And maybe once, since we're talking about trends and what's hot right now, we can look at some of these submissions. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, especially the first one that's on my screen, feels really kind of appropriate <laughs> for these days, kind of <laughs> polychromatic and bright. I like it. Jill. <laughs> nice. We really love these colors. <laughs> this is by VDLD Designers. Oh, Adobe fun. made out of gym equipment. Nice job. Nice. <laughs> that's really cool. I really love, since you used things that were the exact same uh, shape and size, mm -hmm. it offers some consistency. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. that. Ooh, full screen. Nice. This is by John, and he made this using wood scraps from their laser cutter hey, and rad. engraver. Yeah. That's cool. I'm so glad that the, the pieces worked like that. I know. How funny. One man's scraps becomes another man's wooden adobe sign. <laughs> nice job, John. This is by Jeanette, and this spells warm in ASL. Sweet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you gotta stay warm out there, friends. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pretty cold in some places. Uh, Tamkeen did love with some beautiful, beautiful jewels, rhinestones. Really nice. I like the light shining through them. Especially down here where you can see the actual color reflected on the, the paper. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I want more of that. <laughs> more rainbow, please. This is really nice. It says brunch. Looks like it was made out of some herbs. Oh, that's beautiful. This looks delicious. Is that lox? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's by Guillermo. What a wonderful world. Very nice. So oh, it looks like, beautiful. yeah, you're using an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil, potentially. This is a nice little setup you got in your Apple Pencil. Nice job, Guillermo. By Juan Camillo, or Camillo. Hit the nail in the head. Nice. Mm -hmm. Using actual nails. And it's a head. Wow. Huh, that's clever. I love this. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, that these well two done. eyeballs. Mustache. This looks like it would have taken a lot of patience. Indeed. A lot of nails rolling around. Yeah, really nice job. This is by Joanna. Tack it up. Nice. Don't be scared. Tack it up. <laughs> also using office supplies. The theme of the day. <laughs> nice job, everyone. We will be picking a winner in about 30 minutes, uh, so keep them coming. Yeah, the nails are really strong. I like that. Nails? That the hit the nail on yeah, the head. Those were red. Mm -hmm. Do either of you ever play with palindromes? Like thinking of them? Mm -mm. 
I don't so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love them. I Tell think me they're more. really cool. Yeah. So a palindrome is a word that's spelled the same way forward back and back. Oh, yeah. okay, no, I don't. I've never done that, but I, I know some people that have, and they're really super cool. Yeah, or even if it's not a palindrome, but it's a word that's lettered in such a way that when you flip it over, it says something else, or yeah. it says the same thing. Yeah, those are so cool. Mm-hmm. I, I love, like, little secret bits here and there. I think that's that's just fun. Easter eggs, if you will. Right. Secret bits. <laughs> Do you ever just say something, and then right after you're like, what even is that? <laughs> what is a secret bit? What is live? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. To answer your question, yes. <laughs> Every day on this live stream yeah. <laughs> in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a great question. Chuck, Jill, do you have a favorite style of lettering, like modern or brush lettering, black letter? Hmm. Favorite style? I think I just kind of gravitate towards like a scripty thing. I really like that. But then I also really like kind of really simple utilitarian uh, style as well. I think mm-hmm. that can be really fun because then you can, it's kind of fun to add a lot of illustrative elements to that. Yeah. So, okay, so there's our, there's that one. All right. Okay, now we're gonna try another one, which is, okay, turn that off. So maybe we will do like a utilitarian looking kind of Roman something, not Roman, but uh, not, what am I saying? Not script, Ah, (laughs) basically. Yes. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. So, New sketch layer. Okay. So for this one, let's do, um, yeah, maybe we'll do something kind of funky and fun. Like we could do, we do like a 70s looking kind Mm -hmm. of one or just like kind of goony. Maybe I'll just try a couple different things just for funsies. Yeah, let's do it. We've got the time. All right. Sweet. Uh, Someone asked, would you take this into the full version of Photoshop or Illustrator later to finish it up? Or do you like finishing totally in the mobile? Um, actually, for something like this, I probably would end up printing this off and using it as a guide to then hand paint it. Actually paint, Because yeah. actually, I just like the real textures a lot. Mm-hmm. But I have seen some people that just do wonders on their iPads. Yeah. So, like, that's something that I want to get better at, for sure. Right. But I just feel like it's fun to create it by hand in, in the end. I agree. I feel the same way. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think digital is really fast, and you can mimic mm-hmm. traditional looks. Yeah. But there's something so satisfying about actually putting pen or paint to paper. Totally. I agree. Mm-hmm. Ah, Daniel, it's a good idea. You could thumbnail in mobile and then make a bigger one in the full version of Photoshop Illustrator. Definitely. There you go. See if I can find some examples of that. We'll see. <laughs> so this kind of style is really fun, where it's just like you're seriously just like filling in your letters wherever it looks kind of fun. I think it can be kind of cool sometimes. Um, someone who's really good at this is um, Eric Moranovic. Really does really cool. Stuff like this, but everything he does is cool. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, <it's> freaking amazing. <laughs> and do no wrong. Yep, pretty much. So maybe one example I showed. Oh, well, browser just crashed. Oh no. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, one example of this, and I showed this yesterday, is this piece I did for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, yeah. uh, pairing hand lettering with illustration. But this kind of shows a full gamut of taking it from paper to mobile to desktop. Mm-hmm. So I uh, brush lettered the actual quote and did the sketch in Adobe Photoshop Sketch, which is what uh, Jill is using. And then I took both of those things, brought them into the desktop version of Photoshop, so where I have all my tools and everything that I need, And I added, uh, maybe you can see a little bit of texture and some high and low values into the words, and also this texture in his face and hair. So uh, using the polygonal lasso tool that's not available in Sketch and adding this texture. So you can really use all the tools in one. Just depends what your process is. I feel like I'm not as chatty today. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> like, you do not have to say anything. 
What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about, chat? <laughs> well, we could talk about the fact that there's going to be a giveaway right mm. meow. True that. Right this second. I hope the, the cat song is playing. So <laughs> me saying meow right wasn't meow. too random. But uh, so we like to do a giveaway during every stream about an hour into the stream. And usually we do three amazing posters uh, that were done here live in the Adobe Live Studio. Rob Zilla made one of them, and I think he's still in chat. Jingwei made one in the middle, and Christine Heron made this one. Uh, so stick around for the rest of the streams today if you'd like to win these. But during this stream, we're gonna give away a Jill Dahan original poster. I don't know if it's gonna show up. Oh, yes. There you go. So this is what Jill worked on yesterday. Started you started this <laughs> in Photoshop. No, you started it on paper, right? Oh uh, yeah, just a little sketch. Do you have it, it? Was, yeah, I do have awesome. the sketch right here. It's kind of fun to see where it came from. Yeah. And then we can also maybe show the sketch in your uh, Photoshop sketch too. Oh, here it is. You have it. Okay, it got kind of uh, scrabbly and fadey, oh, okay. but um. There's that yeah. sketch right there. So mm -hmm. that's, I had two options for it. This is hilarious. Uh, like that <laughs> and then like that, but we chose that one. Awesome. And then um, I ended up doing a little color study of it. And right. I, first I tried this dark background mm -hmm. and then we did this one. So this yeah. is, if you can see it, it's uh, paint just painted on the iPad. Mm -hmm. And then f I just looked at that as my reference to paint this one. Right, and so usually you would have printed it out. Yeah. And like and actually traced it. Yeah, exactly. But you were just a beast yesterday and freehanded it. Beast mode. Yes, let's do this thing, I totally agree. So just be <laughs> active in chat, everyone. That is how you are entered into the contest. If you want to take home or have it sent to you, this Jill Han original, uh, say Jill something Han. in chat. Jill Han. Jill Han, a new artist here in 2018. <laughs> Jill Dahan. <laughs> um, please be active in chat, say something. Maybe ask a question that you've really been wondering about illustration or lettering or graphic design. Yes, Matthias, beast mode. <laughs> Jill Han is a beast. I don't know about Jill Dahan. Not about me, but that girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, yes, the chat's going crazy. I love seeing that. Sweet. So we'll use some Adobe Magic and pull up a random winner here in a moment. Let Jill save the world. That's what <laughs> Vanessa says. All right. <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, Sophia wants to know, when did you start on lettering, Jill? When did I start lettering? Mm -hmm. um, like a, knowing what it was in college. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but like I've been doing lettering since a long, long time ago. Since you were just a wee. Yeah, and just like thinking about, you know, sh like I said, I think I said it yesterday in like high school, I would like letter lyrics and depressing lyrics and stuff, yeah. you know, and with like blood dripping off of them and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Which mm -hmm. is so odd to me now, but um, I felt really cool at the time. Uh, but now, but I didn't realize that that was called lettering and that that was a thing until mm -hmm. I was in high school, in college, so. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow, I love, are you using the same brush? That you've been using? Did you change um, it up? I couldn't find that one, so now I've switched <laughs> to this other one, which I'm really liking. Yeah, I really like it too. It is the hard sharpened chalk. Hard sharpened chalk, if you'd like to create a similar texture. Mm -hmm. uh, we, yes, Gus, tell us the winner is, well, we have the winner, actually. So chat, the winner is, would you like to read it? Sure. Kristen Barraza, Barraza? Kristen, you are the winner <laughs> of Jill's beautiful Let's Yay. do this piece. So Adobe Live will get in mm -hmm. contact with you on your Behance messages. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out for that and we will send that to you nice and bubble wrapped. All right. Congrats. <laughs> oh, people are sad they didn't win. <laughs> I would I'm sad too. <laughs> I was kinda hoping that you would do traditional again and then after the stream I'd be yeah. like, Yo Jill, uh, I've been oh, hosting you all week. Maybe you could, you know. Oh, <laughs> Hand it over. Yeah, we'll be tight now. We'll yeah, we we'll tight. Let's <laughs> make it for you anyway. Yeah, cool. <laughs> just for I'm funsies. cool with that. You said that you're trying to get rid of a bunch of like scrap. I know. Work. I should just do like apparently I should just do like a little sale or something mm -hmm. for my Instagram yeah. or something because I seriously just have a bunch of stuff floating around my office. There you go. Office, bedroom, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you work mostly from home, right? Yeah. How does that How does that work? How do you keep it separate, or do you? Um, well, we just barely moved into a new house, so nice. my, like I said, my office is like my bedroom for mm -hmm. right now, but eventually we'll make it look cool and nice and whatever, but, um, yeah, it works really well. I just, um, my husband watches him, and I have other people that watch my baby, mm -hmm. and then I can do my work. Good. 
That's great. Yeah. Because he doesn't like me to work. <laughs> yeah. Right. He I wants bet to that'd play. Be tough. Yeah. He wants to get all up in your paints. Exactly. Make all kinds of messes. Good little boy. <laughs> uh, Marissa says you should do self-promotion, like, giveaway sale. That'd be fun. Yeah, definitely. I would it's repeat really, that. It's really hard for me to put myself out there, you know? Yeah. So, like, that kind of makes me nervous. Like, this is really hard for me right now. <laughs> but it's really fun. Yeah. You know? You're learning a and lot, just, I'm I sure. Need to do, I need to do that kind of stuff, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you were talking about how having a rep helps you with those kinds of things. Absolutely, helps me. Like some people don't need one, but I it has seriously helped me so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I would feel. I don't know if I... If you would necessarily yeah. want one. I yeah. love kind of the comfort of knowing that someone's got my back. Absolutely. In this kind of crazy world And of they're art. gonna charge the right amount. Yeah, you know, right. that's hard. Mm-hmm. Mercedes says that, uh, same here, Jill. I'm super shy. <laughs> Good on you, Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Shy Girl Club. Whoop whoop. That should be a hand lettering. And it can be really like Let's cross make pins. stitchy. Ooh, yes. <laughs> sell them. patches. Trademark, trademark. Shy Girl Club. Something for you to sell. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> uh, Love it. Tim says that you are a streaming professional. Oh, now? Yes. I need to. So brush your shoulders off. Job. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tim. That's yeah. very nice. Ah, uh, Mercedes, fellow shy girl, is wondering how has uh, a kind of shyness affected your work? Like when you have to present things or... Oh, it's just been way stressful. My poor husband <sighs> has to deal with it and I'll just be like wallowing like on the bed. Just like, I don't want to do that. How do <laughs> just I? like snap out of it. You're yeah. a grown up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is he more like outgoing and gregarious? Um, well, you're he's, gregarious. Also, he's also pretty like, you know, shy, but he mm -hmm. can just like step up and just like do things. Do it. Like... A master nice because he w he did like marketing and stuff so he knows how to speak in front of people mm -hmm. but it is just so painful for me <laughs> I just did I did the pachaka cha oh, oh. That's called the thing where you do a presentation yeah and it's yeah. like 20 minutes per or 20 seconds per slide right. for 20 minutes right oh my gosh. and it was it was so I was so stressed out but then by the end I was like let's do it again like it was like really fun wow. but initially it was like really stressful so it, uh, just just do things, you know? Right. Why not? Yeah, definitely. So what was your uh, pachaka cha about? Um, your work? Um, yeah, I don't think I have it on here. But it, uh, I did a little title card for it, and it, it, I just said, it's all art. Like, whatever you do is, is yeah. art. Because, um, gra uh, do you know Grandma Moses? That sounds really familiar. She's, she started doing painting. She yes, started when she painting when she was 76 yes. years old. And it's like, it's never even too late to start your next passion. So that's mm -hmm. what I did mine on. Yeah. Because there's so many things I'm interested in that aren't even related to, to art, mm -hmm. you know, technically. And I still want to do them. So just don't, you know, it's never too late to start a new no. thing. So. Not at all. And it's okay to not be good at it. Yeah, true. Right just away. whatever makes you haps. Yes. Definitely. Okay, let's thicken some of these up for funsies. Whoa, Grandma Moses was a centenarian. She was over 100. Is that what that means? I believe it. She seemed so jolly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was 101, Precious. I believe. Precious little thing. I love her work. It's very like folk art I tapestry. I love it so much too. I love that style. Mm -hmm. that kind of juvenile folk art. Mm -hmm. kind of cool look. Yes. It's rad. Read. All right, chat, we've got Jill here captive for about 20 more minutes. Well, until we pick a winner. So if you have any questions, Ronnie is asking a great question. Uh, if you weren't an artist, what would you be? Ronnie Bean. That's my friend. Hey, Ronnie. I call her Ronald. Ronald Bean Donald. <laughs> that's, her, that's her nickname. <laughs> um, if I what say? If I couldn't, if you weren't an artist, what would you do? I would, something with gardening. I would ah, think I would go into horticulture. Cool. Oh, so much. I, when my kids are grown up a little bit, I want to go back to school for mm -hmm. horticulture. That's awesome. I love it. So what does that mean? Like, uh, a university to study, like, the science or, like, a... Just, like, it, everything about plants possible is what cool. I want to know. <laughs> nice. And how to grow things. I'm really interested in, like, self-sustainability. Right. And, you know? even like survival, like that kind of stuff yeah. is interesting to me. So like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, me too. And foraging. I'm Absolutely. Into that. Foraging. Making all kinds of tinctures and poultices. Oh yeah. Like, Love it. My husband and I get a huge meal and a big glass of ice water and we sit down and put on like a survival show 
and watch them like suffer and starve and just like, like eat our food like ah. I don't know why that sounds awful that's but kind of dark Jill <laughs> you're kind of crazy like, the, the onion skin but it's just is like being pulled back like, I'm so lucky I have this food <laughs> it's true that's it can be a thankful exercise plus you're learning how to survive it's so fun yeah um like naked and afraid it's great survivor man I love them all. Oh man, I like <laughs> those are physically painful for me to watch, really? especially Naked and Afraid. They oh, just no. are so oh, that one's awkward naked though. It's and true. so afraid. They are just so naked and so afraid. They're feeling weird and they're feeling scared, yeah. and I feel weird and scared with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh man. Okay, so we've done three different ways here, and um, I don't know what should, how much time do we have because let's see, we have about. 45 minutes or oh, 35 great. minutes. I could paint something if you want me to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll have Don't to maybe set done. up the. Well, we can just change out your iPad for mm -hmm. uh, a piece of paper. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I was just going to do. That's awesome. Cool. Love just it. Cause... But before we do that, maybe we can show all of what you've done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And talk about the process on how you got there. So, let's turn off this fellow. Okay. So, we did this one. And. We just, you know, played around with that, just mm -hmm. letter forms and making them kind of wonky and weird, and that was fun. Yeah. And then we did um, this one that was more flourishy wow, and yeah. what have you. Mm -hmm. And since I can't stay from flourishes, I also added some <laughs> to this gothic one, which is more of a gothic. Would that be the word? You I use? love that one. I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, it's a little off. Obviously, it needs to be tweaked, but it's fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just fun to show that you can just you can letter in all kinds of different ways. Yeah. You know, so. Right. So Great. yeah. So so far today, we've covered font self again, which maybe we can pop over to Jill's screen and show the beautiful font that oh, yeah. you made. Chat. We Good had, job, guys. We just had the extension. We just put it through the machine, and the pasta came out on the other side. Mm -hmm. This is the Adobe <laughs> Live chat font that you uh, provided on the first day of the contest when you were submitting your letters on a white background. That's why it had to be on a white background, my friends, because <laughs> we was making a font out of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and maybe we can also show like the full um, set of all the letters, just that PSD file. Yeah, totally. But this is a live font, so we're going to make it available for you all in chat to download and use as you would like. Here's your font, friends. Mm -hmm. Maybe so we can fun. zoom in and kind of yeah, scroll through them. Love. It was really hard deciding. Oh, Anna. Let's see, it's so great. See, this person right? should have done this thing today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love that D. That's like that 3D is so cool. textured. Florence F was so nice. Mm -hmm. The nice. H is so cute. Yeah, I had to change the color a little bit on the H. I hope you don't mind. Friend <laughs> in chat, it just wasn't showing up very well. <laughs> mm -hmm. K, I like the yeah. minimalist K. That was like the only K we had. I had to look through like all the submissions. Oh, wow. The L is I like the the wonky hand lettering yeah, or the hand that's done, fun. but uh -huh. it's such an ornate shape. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Cute M. Yeah. N's good. The O by Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Love that Q. Yes. The Q is a lot of people's R, of favorites. Course. Really, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. The R is my favorite. The S is cool. Yeah. Really nice. W. W W. Mm -hmm. There's the X by I think, believe Sarah. Really interesting. Why? Yeah, that's way cool. Yeah. Look at this little guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think that was the only Z we got too. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. a cool one. Yeah. So choose the more difficult okay. letters, and then you have a higher chance of being in the alphabet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Annie. That was your A. Yes, we loved yeah. it. We had to use it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So yeah, pretty fun, you guys. Right. So we'll make that a downloadable link, and hopefully we can start posting it in the chat maybe after uh, the stream is over. So stick around for that. You can use it for Absolutely. whatever you'd like. <laughs> yeah. So we covered that, and we covered how to take it through Font Self, which is an extension that you can use in either Illustrator or Photoshop Shop C CC. <laughs> uh, it's super easy. The hardest part is just organizing the letters on your page, and then boom, it's done. And then, like Jill said, she kind of covered uh, how to letter one phrase three different ways using Photoshop Sketch, which is a mobile app. And now Jill is getting out all of her goodies. <laughs> I'm just going to do just a, something that goes really quickly. Cool. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun. I like to do, to hand paint a, um, a gradient throughout a whole, uh, like a word. Oh, nice. All so. the colors. Yeah, we don't need to use all of them, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to see. Let's see. Definitely got to use the pink. Yes. Ooh, nice. Use for fun. Didn't use that yesterday, right? Uh, no, did not. Perfect. OK. 
Okay, and then we'll go to red. We do. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. That's what's fun. That's a nice okay. scheme. Indeed. Okay, so I'm going to turn this little feather off. There we okay. are. Okay, so maybe I will. Right, Kathleen. <gasps> mm -hmm. Jill! Oh, friend. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna turn pink. Oh, <laughs> Pink okay. like this. This hot pink right here. <laughs> it's gonna be my face. <laughs> uh, how much time is left in the stream? You're always late. Welcome, Cami. We've got until uh, basically 12.55 Pacific time. So you've got some time, don't worry. The contest huh. deadline is in 15 minutes. So get your tactile lettering submitted. Use any kind of object and make some letters out of it. Use gravel, salt, uh, pepper. I'm just in like a, in a kitchen thought. You could use vegetables, flour. We're gonna tackle that infamous K that no one likes to write. I know, <laughs> flipping K. Flipping. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's K. <kay. laughs> it's K. Uh, is my head in the way of anything? Nope, you're good. Okay. No Heidi buns. Okay. <laughs> Just right, for regular braids. <laughs> um, Jill, or Rob is wondering if you prefer raster over vector, like Photoshop over Illustrator, or... So mm. all, well, you usually hand paint anyways. Yeah, so I think probably Photoshop. Yeah. When I was first in college, definitely vector. Like, I was all about Illustrator. Uh, and I never did anything mm -hmm. like raster at all. But yeah. now I've, like, completely flipped to the other way. <laughs> Which gotcha. is kind of funny. Yeah. Who there knows? you go. Yeah, I'm similar. I like vectors. They're my friends, but they're not my best friends. Yeah. I got my main girl Photoshop. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to throw some fun little flourishes on here. You know those are delicious. Did I spell your name right? Okay, T-H-L-E-E-N. Yeah. Okay, great. Sorry you can't see it very well, but once I get painting it, you'll be able to see it. Yeah, better. totally. And I'll just paint it up real quick. <laughs> yes, we saw the question. Thanks for being patient while we responded. Let me get some of these uh, contest submissions open and we can take a peek at some of the new ones. Mm -hmm. Seen some really good ones so far. And we do have, like we said, about 40 or so minutes a couple minutes left with Jill, so please ask your questions if you have any. This is the last day of the stream, which is honestly insane. <laughs> Went by fast. Yeah, really did. Uh, we're live every week, Tuesday through Thursday, pretty much. Um, so make sure that you come back for different kinds of content. Like next week, it's going to be XD. Uh, in two weeks, I think it's going to be kind of a mixture of different types of uh, focuses, kind of mashed all together. Let us know what you would like to see on Adobe Live. Always, always happy to hear that. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna add in some thicks and thins as guides for myself. That's helpful. Oh, welcome Tomo. Thanks for tuning in. Guillermo would like to see web design. Awesome. Marissa, yay XD, yes. <laughs> we do XD events quite often. Dana likes mobile drawing. I'm sure Robzilla likes that too. Monty wants to have Aaron Drapling come in. Maybe some, yeah, right? Wouldn't that be rad? Yeah. Hey, maybe we can guy's convince them. Crack up. So maybe a graphic design stream. Uh, lots of people are saying Aaron Draplin. Mm-hmm. He's so fun. InDesign is what Daniel wants. Nice. We had an editorial design stream a couple weeks ago. Cover design and interior formatting, gotcha. So maybe some more in design. Film and animation, awesome, Stefan. I wanna see some game design. Like That'd be sweet. making the assets, designing the gameplay, mm -hmm. throwing down the code, making the soundtrack. <laughs> Graphic and muse, gotcha. Film related, character animator, that would be cool. Ebook creation, nice, straight out of InDesign. <laughs> Cedric would like to see more of Jason Levine's singing skills. <laughs> 
Jason, where you at? <laughs> Maybe we can conjure him. Alrighty, maybe we can look at some of these submissions. We've got uh -oh. Adobe Live by Tariq. He also has all always has the uh, nice. most awesome submissions. Good little setup there too. Mm -hmm. It's a pink background. Yeah, I really like that Love pink that. with that green. Com nice combination. Mm -hmm. We've got reuse. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. There's a couple different versions, kind of showing it in its environment. I like Reduce. it when they show different. Yeah, version. Yeah, me too. Yeah, views. These look like the end of big spools of paper that you use True. in an Epson printer. <laughs> Reuse them. Is that what that is? We used to use them as like paint palettes because <laughs> we just had so many of them. This is high, made with measuring tape and a penny. Cute. Yeah, That's very cool. simple. <laughs> nice. Yuri made make oh, that's art. that's rad. Yeah. I like that. I like your cute little letter mm -hmm. forms there. Nice job, Yuri. It's not crap. Yes, that's what that was your previous one, right? It's not crap. Make oh, art. <laughs> that's funny. Mm -hmm. I like it. Nice job, Yuri. And I love that you've had this uh, project going since November. Like you have all of your Adobe that's Live so submissions cool. in here, right? Good on you. There's me. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. Nice job, Yuri. As always, this is by Michelle Price. <gasps> Mom life. Aw. Got some Cheerios. Oh yeah. And some puffs. <laughs> I think that's what those are. My baby loves those. Yes, I love them too. <laughs> and I think, Michelle, were you saying that you were doing this on your kitchen table while you were watching? Awesome. Nice job. This is Sarah Beach. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Were you really at the beach today? Loggy. No way. That's awesome, Sarah. This is really nice. Type. Oh, Made that is of, fun. Yeah. I really love that. Mm -hmm. Nice job, everyone. You've got about eight minutes left to get your submissions in. If you don't get them in for this stream, uh, we'll be looking at them in the next stream. Uh, but make sure you get them in if you want to be qualified for this contest, which is a free year of Creative Cloud. That's what you could win. One person will win every stream. And look, it's done. Slash she's ra racing Oh, it? no, I'm just erasing a little <laughs> bit because I drew it really dark. Ah. And I don't want it to show through too much. On I see, I see. Smart, because you wanted it to be dark so they could see. Right. That's a great teacher. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, I think so. <laughs> Thinking about your audience. <laughs> All of your new friends in chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is really fun to do because you start with one color and then you mix it with another one and... You got yourself stew going. Yeah, Arrested nice though. Any, anybody? Rest of development? I don't know that one. I mean, I know the show, but I don't. Stew going. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a bonkers show, though. It was a great show. I just remember the one scene where he's pulling like a, a frozen dove out of the freezer, and it's a bag, and it says like frozen dove, uh, and he opens it, and he's like, I don't know what I was expecting to see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it tickled, tickled me hard. <laughs> that show is so funny. Hot ham water. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of good <laughs> quotes from that show. Fun uh, show. Uh, is there going to be another giveaway? We are going to be doing giveaways during uh, Stefan's stream and Becca's stream, but they will be of the posters, I believe. That's that's as much as I know. Uh, Danielle, what kind of paint is that? It's just acrylic. Just acrylic. Yep. Nothing special. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too serious. Just kind of. Bottom shelf. Yep. Dick Blick. <laughs> Dick Blick. Dead dove, do not eat. Yes, that's what it said, John. <laughs> Good job. Uh, oh, Michelle, who did the mom live, says, yes, the baby woke up and started eating my submission. Aw, <laughs> bless it. Oh, we refresh, and then we'll see it's happening. OK. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'll get it open. That's really funny. Mm -hmm. Funny babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's mine. That's what my kid would say. That's mine. Hey mom, that's mine. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Ooh, Allison has a good question. Do you have an idea of a mural that you would want to do in your house? Heck yes. I've got so many ideas for that biz. Mm -hmm. uh, I, um, I wanted to even just do like a bunch of little things that look like tattoos, but and I would just call them wall tats. <laughs> and just like, Whoa. just like do a little tat on my wall here and then yeah. over there. <laughs> my husband said it's okay, so. Cool. Not that he like has to, you know. Yeah. I'm kind of like, I'm doing this. I'm doing it, it's gonna look good, so don't worry <laughs> about it. Right. 
That's awesome. So, so yeah. would they look like tattoos? Like um, kind of, yeah, but with like lettering involved, you know, mm-hmm. just like black and uh, I don't know, just use black and white basically, but very cool. So that'll be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. And I, like I said the other day, I, I would like to do more um, uh, like fully illustrated murals, mm-hmm. like of like animals and flowers and stuff that are like really illustrated out. I think yeah. that'd be really just like a fun project. That'd be so, so nice. I'd love to see your style doing that. Yeah, see how that goes. <laughs> uh, Jaron, is that how you say your name? Hand lettering is not your cup of tea. You're not accurate and kind of impatient. <laughs> it can be frustrating sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you're doing any style, it, it can be frustrating to learn the letter forms. But then once you get them down, it's really fun. And you're like, I can do things. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. Just keep practicing. All right, I got a couple more submissions we can throw up on the screen just to kind of show them as they come in. So this is the updated version of Michelle's piece with the baby that we mm-hmm. saw. Mm-hmm. So cute. This oh, is, that one's cool. Yeah, and so talking about things that can be frustrating to use, I know Becca was talking yesterday or the day before about how using apples is tough mm-hmm. uh, because they turn brown. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nice job, That's Maya. Great. I really love the whole setup of this one, Winter. By Eleanor. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. There's even that's a really little nice. detail shot. Mm-hmm. These look like little flower Did pine cones. you go cones. outside and do that? That's yeah. cool. Are you outside? Good on you. Got apples again. Pablo did sushi. Ooh. Yum. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love this little chopsticks, little mm-hmm. fish. Making me hungry. Nice job, everyone. We've got more coming in. You have three more minutes until the submission deadline. So get those submissions in if you want a chance to win a free year of Creative Cloud. Oh, yeah, people are saying put lemon juice on apples. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder what Becca brown. does to make them. Right, I think she just avoids using them. Really? That's like, funny. No. I'm sure there are some things where it's just like, no. I know, I remember she did something with like ice cream or something. Right. And she was like, never again. Never again. Yeah. And it's going to be a difficult choice for you, Jill. I know. It always is. Mm-hmm. You kids. You. Cool stuff. Kids these days. Right. Mitch, good call out. You're going to go get some water, everyone. <laughs> Drink your water. Yeah. Got this cool <laughs> al- aluminum bottle of water. <laughs> Doesn't taste any different. Hate to say it. is really pretty. Thanks. So pastel. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kevin, yeah, the winter one is actual snow. I love the dedication. That's cool. Yeah. Also, just the lettering is really nice. I like the, um, the look. He's got the look. Sorry, I had to, had to jump in there with that. <laughs> Bright pink. Love. Magenta. Sorry. Oh. Technical names. Let's see. Brilliant magenta. Mm Mm-hmm. Blue violet light. (laughs) I just thought they had really nice colors. Yeah. I love this like corn flowery looking Mm -hmm. blue purple. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. (laughs) Eleanor's like, it's Canada, so yeah, there was snow. (laughs) Makes sense. Snow in Canada? Since when? Since when? <laughs> what pencils are you using? You just use like a mechanical pencil? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, nothing too special just for the nothing too crazy. The sketch. But like I've said before, in if I'm doing like a really big project or something, I'll use appropriate pencils that won't be too Mm-hmm. Won't show up too much and whatnot, so. There's some really, really strong submissions coming in. Can't wait to get all of them. I think the deadline is about up. It's over at 12 
30. So if you're working on something and you're not done, get it in. Yeah, get it in if you want to be considered for uh, this stream. But if you're not done, we will look at it during Stefan's stream, which is next. Uh, we are shooting from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, not LA. The other, the other California part. <laughs> Yeah, totally. They're saying that the colors look like a gradient. Yeah, that's what I'm going for that's here. That's goal. It's fun to do this when you have like a metallic too. Ooh. So I've done it before where I've done like a, a bronze mixed into the orange and that was fun. Wow. It's fun to paint gradients. Yeah. <laughs> Adobe Live team, let us know if the contest submission is up. Perfect, so this contest submission is up. We'll look at the ones that were not submitted before 12.30. Uh, in the next stream, I'll get these all open, I'll show them, and then we'll make like a top 10 list. Right. Make sure I have them all. All right, I think that's it. Alrighty, here is a submission by Joey Myers. Juicy. Juicy. That's yes. one of our favorite words here on live stream. <laughs> I like how you, or did they crumble a little bit? Yeah, it seems like it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Did you just like put it in your mouth and like just have it? I hope out? not. <laughs> Super juicy. <laughs> nice job. So this is your whole um, project of all of your submissions, which I love I to love see. That. So Yuri fun. did this also. Nice. Just take a nice little scroll down memory lane. Mm -hmm. uh, chat, if you didn't know, you can click on each other's names in the chat pod and go to uh, their Behance accounts. So if you click on Joey's name, you can go see this and you can appreciate it, which I will do right now. Nice job. This is glitzy. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I love your thicks and thins with the right. jewels. Right. I like the little added um, lens flares. Mm -hmm. Little post-production. Yeah. Extra shiny. Nice job. Maybe just glitz, that's what it says. Mm. Yes. <laughs> sweet. Yeah, speaking of sweet, this says sweet life. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Really nice, maybe made Pretty of heady. cocoa? Yeah, Potentially. Like... Really, really like nice. I'm wondering in chat, whoever made this, what did you use? What was the utensil? Chopstick, some sort of skewer. Mm -hmm. This is cool. A C? Yeah, maybe it's a, a C. C. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah, look at all this money. It's fun to use the element of the shininess on mm -hmm. them. Yeah. part of your thing. Adds its own little gradient. Yeah. Nice job. And this is by Katie. Food for thought. <laughs> nice. Some tortellini, some peppers, looks like some chia seeds. Mm -hmm. And maybe some trail mix action going on down there. Mm -hmm. Nice job, everyone. I believe we've showed all of the um, projects that can that fall under the guidelines of the project. So great job. If you didn't get shown, just wait till the next stream uh, and keep working. And if you don't get chosen for this uh, stream, don't worry. You can make something totally new for the, the rest of the streams of the day and they will be considered. Oh, it was yours, Cammy. Nice. <laughs> Kendra says that this is reminding her of Lisa Frank. <gasps> yes. Yes. Fun. The vibes are real. I loved her when I was little. Me too. <laughs> so much. I, I had a lunchbox. Oh, yeah. Maybe a backpack. I was also super into peace frogs. Peace frogs? You remember those guys? No. <laughs> that was a big thing when I was little. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like, like weird mm -hmm. frogs doing like peace signs. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. just like on so many different kinds of frogs. That's Sombrero what they had frog. at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, so Kevin likes the winter or the baby Cheerios. Yeah, I like hearing all of your favorite uh, submissions yes, help in me. chat. <laughs> help me, please. Holy cow. Too difficult. <laughs> Uh, Marissa says, yes, peace frogs. <laughs> totally. Peace frogs and Jenkos. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just uh, learned what Jenko stood for. What does it stand for? It's like, uh, 
It doesn't make sense. Really? <laughs> well, you gotta <laughs> tell me what it means. Because I'm super curious. Ah, uh, let's see. Any, anybody Junko winning out there? <laughs> <laughs> Judge none, choose one. Whoa. Sweet. Yes. I also learned Love yesterday, it. listening to my brother and brother, my brother, my brother and me, one of my favorite podcasts, they're talking about these, and that the width of uh, the waist of the pant yeah. is the same width of each leg. <laughs> it's like very... That's so amazing. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jankos. Pockets everywhere. It's incredible. If you don't know what we're talking about, talking about those big old jeans that had the big old legs... I, I called them like elephant jeans when I was little. <laughs> elephant jeans. I didn't pants. know. <laughs> and you know, they'll probably come back into style next week. So, yeah, I no, mean, you just never know nowadays. I was just looking at articles saying that they're back. I am like wearing they're high waisted back. pants, not that you could tell, but I never thought that would be a thing. Right. And here we are. Now it's the, like the only so, thing I'll wear. I know. Isn't that so crazy? Mm -hmm. Yep. Life. Flares are back. Mm -hmm. Bell bottoms. Show thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Kevin, your brother owned some of those Jenko jeans. Nice. So did mine. I like really wanted some, but my mom wouldn't get me any. <laughs> I was like, I want to be like the cool kids with Jenkos. She's like, you really don't. She's like, I promise. <laughs> you don't want to do I that. I promise you this. <laughs> this is for your do own you good. favor. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Michelle had bright red Jinkos. That sounds Jealous. amazing. I bet you were like the coolest kid in school. Yes. On the playground. Danielle, flares need to come back. They are back, I promise. Yeah, I've, I've seen them around town. High-waisted ones, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Super 70s. I love it. What are Jinkos? They're, they're very... Uh, Google it. Yeah, Google it. J-N-C-O. It'll change your life. Judge none, choose one, baby. <laughs> Got about a little less than 20 minutes uh, until the end of the stream. So if you have any questions for Jill, please get them over. We'll try our best to answer them. Uh, it could be about her history of becoming an artist and how it all happened. Uh, <laughs> any ideas about freelance work or building your portfolio, inspiration, that's always interesting to hear about. Nina is loving the gradient. Thanks, Nina. Me too. Graham, you have an Aussie? Like an Australian Shepherd? So do I. <laughs> so cute. He's the best. Um, I went too fast, so I didn't see the name, but someone was wondering, do you ever paint on canvas? Uh-huh. Yeah, I have before. Cool. But usually, I'm usually scanning it in at the end, oh. so I'll just do it on like thinner paper. Right. But if it's like an artwork for somebody, then I do it on canvas. Mm -hmm. uh, what are we doing after the stream? Eating lunch? Probably for me. <laughs> what are you doing? Lunch time. Yes. Hanging out with my kid. I think we're gonna go, and my husband, I think we're gonna go to the sciences museum oh, or whatever. Oh, yes. The Academy of Sciences mm -hmm. or something. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. The area around there is so cool. Is it's it? like, Rad. it looks like the ruins of a temple. Sweet. I'm really, really cool. Uh, oh, good question. I was wondering if Jill has any tips on how to approach an agency or an agent, like if you want to get one. Um, let's see. Um, I think you just have to know that they are um, really busy. So yes. if you write them an email, it's good to keep it pretty precise and to include um, just a couple JPEGs of your artwork so they can just get a quick look at what yeah. you do and then if they like what they see then they'll Contact you or you know, so I think I think that's probably just right from the get-go probably the best thing to do right yeah. And then just know that if they don't go back to you right away like you know, they're so busy so mm -hmm. Just gotta be patient. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, is that how you went about? That's, I mean, that's how I did it and that's gotcha. the only thing I can share because mm -hmm. that's what was my that was experience. experience. So I know some people are, are pursued by reps. Like they that's like are say. like, yeah. we want to represent you. Mm -hmm. And so like, I'm sure that's happened to Becca like a thousand times. <laughs> like, you know, cause what she does is like, so it's such a good commercial thing. Mm -hmm. um, True. So I know there are people that have to turn down reps all the time, but if you like are actively out looking for one, mm -hmm. I think that's, that's what I did anyway. Yeah, <laughs> right. And don't be discouraged. No, don't be discouraged. If you don't hear back or if yeah. you get uh, 
a negative response. Just keep your day job. Yeah, right? <laughs> and, you know, keep doing your thing on the side. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daniel says live streaming is a good way to gain exposure. Yeah, live is becoming a big thing. Obviously, we believe in it because we are Adobe Live. Mm -hmm. Uh, But you can do it yourself on Instagram. Uh, If you're into video games, you could head over to Twitch. You can do all kinds of live YouTube. But make sure you keep watching Adobe Live because we love this community. Mm -hmm. Uh, Soren says, that was super useful. Yeah, I agree. Oh, good. I'm glad. (laughs) I was wondering, too, like, if you had pursued or if they had pursued you. No, yeah, I I pursued them for sure. Gotcha. Uh, Guillermo wants to know, does your following on Instagram give you leverage when getting jobs? Um, I wouldn't know because I I only have, like, not even 10,000. So I think... only. (laughs) Well, you know what I mean. Like, some people are like, 450,000. I know know Stefan has like a million. Yeah, (laughs) he has like over 200,000. Yeah, he's amazing. But um, Mm. I think he really can use that as leverage for sure. And we've talked about it loosely and he think he has before Mm -hmm. in like pricing of things. Right. So um, yeah, it doesn't really matter for me because I don't have a lot, but people who have a lot, yeah. (laughs) Right. And I mean, I think social media is sometimes a good way to show cred. Like if you do have a bigger following, mm-hmm. people might give you more of their time, uh, more totally. of their consideration, but right. it's not like an end all be all. Totally. But being available on social, I think is important. I think your work is probably more important. Yes. You know? Right. But, um, yeah. And if you're sharing a lot of your work and have good communication skills and are mm-hmm. investing in that, then your following will grow. Absolutely. Like it will for sure. How it works. Uh, Shauna gave a good tip that she, when she was pursuing an agent, she got oh, lots good, of no yeah. thank yous. Oh, yeah. Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so don't be discouraged. She said, yeah. I think it took nine months to yeah. get like an okay. And then she was with them for four years. Nice. Uh, and then being with an agent isn't the end all be all too. Like you can always go back on your own. Absolutely. You find that. Yep. That's what's and good I, for you. I have a friend who is incredible, uh, Nate Williams. He's a really good illustrator. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was with a rep, I think, uh, I can't remember the name. Anyway. He was with the rep for a really long time, and then he kind of learned the in and outs himself of right. like charging, how much to charge, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so he just kind of decided that he could maybe do it on his own. Yeah. And so now he doesn't have one, and he does just as well. So mm-hmm. I think it's just you know up to you. Yeah. Do you think reps like understand that that happens? Like you kind of grow out of. I think so. Yeah. And then they get you know there will always be amazing artists. Mm-hmm. So I think they'll always be good. You yeah. know. So yeah. yeah. I think one of my favorite things about doing this gradient kind of stuff is looking at my little paint mixtures over here. yeah. Because it ends up being really cool. It's really... I, like, went to watch an Instagram video of you swirling that around. Kind of like... (laughs) These are fun colors. (laughs) Uh, Elena would love to see some pattern makers on Adobe Live. Yeah, Yeah, that'd be a fun one. Mm -hmm. That'd be really cool. I love patterns. Yeah, and I think that's something that needs to be demystified for a lot of people. Totally. Like, how to make a repeating pattern. It's really not that difficult. No, yeah. You do have to learn a little bit. I used to work at a scrapbooking place. That's actually where I started, like right out of school. Mm -hmm. And so we had to do patterns constantly. And I really, really loved doing those. Nice. Ooh, Kendra would love surface design. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I agree. You want to become a surface designer. Awesome, Kendra. Do it, Kendra. Yeah. Would you want to do like for apparel or home goods? Fabric for, what else? What else do you make fabric for? You want to see some Cineware experts? Nice. A lot of people want pattern. Sweet. So we have the top options and we have about 10 minutes left. So maybe we can get the winner chosen and then you can finish up my beautiful name. All right. Perfect. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Just finish this. Oh, Kendra, probably fabric. Nice. Your mom was a quilter. Cool. Oh, perfect. Like daughter. (laughs) We've got spicy. Oh, yeah. That was great. I'm still mystified on how this came to be. Like, what technique did you use? I know. If you are in chat, let us know. Okay, quinoa. Mm -hmm. Great. My stomach is actually growling. (laughs) Oh my gosh, we've got Adobe. Cool. BDLD designers. I hope people in the gym will like watching you do this. Mm -hmm. Like, hold up. What are you up to? Need to borrow those. (laughs) Oh, that one's cool. Yeah, the laser engraving scraps. Mm -hmm. Nice job, John. 
Hit the nail on the head. That's great. Mm-hmm. W Live. I like that one too. Right? I know. <laughs> of course, we like it because it says Adobe Live. True. By Yuri Make Art. I love all the little things on the edge that you mm -hmm. added. Really nice. Set the scene. Mm-hmm. Mom life. Mom life. And then if we scroll down. I love that L. Maybe not. I know. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, refresh it. Yes. Here's the lettering artist at Cute work. <laughs> he actually did it. Mm -hmm. So cute. Nice, nice type. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Winter, pretty. Mm -hmm. This nice little detail shot. Mm -hmm. And juicy. Mm -hmm. And sweet life. Oh man. Okay, now just kind of flip through them for sure. Time. Let us know, chat. Which ones are your favorites? Mm -hmm. Okay, for me it's between spicy, okay, um, and the make art one. Okay, let's see if I can find that. Do, do, here we go. And okay, there's there's like five. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Winter, I really like. Okay. And then um, the nails one. Okay. I think those are my top ones. Alrighty, we've got winter. We've got hit the nail on the head, we've got spicy, and make art. Mm, Trixie. Mm -hmm. Guillermo says winters, or he says make art is my fave. Kendra says winter is cool. Nails is cool by Calliope. She says that. It's all ah. gone. I know. I think for what it's for, mm -hmm. I think I like the make art one the most all right because that's it's hard to take paper and mm -hmm. make it look like actually thought out right. letters that look well done Agreed. so i think well done on that one yeah nice job yuri thank you yeah. so much for submitting i know you submitted this earlier today so it's <laughs> nice to see you kind of evolve and make something new yeah. uh, really really appreciate that and yuri i'm not sure if you've won previously but uh if you have we will send you something other than a cc subscription uh, and if you haven't, then you are now the proud owner of a CC subscription. So congratulations. Yay, good job, Yuri. Yes, mm -hmm. everyone saw how awesome. difficult this decision was. So hard. So thank you for being amazing, creative people out there. Really appreciate you. If you want to submit another contest entry and you uh, haven't won yet, you can make something totally different and submit it during Stefan or Becca streams. We're live until uh, 5 p.m. today, so you've got a couple more hours. And today is the last day of Adobe Live for the week, the last day of lettering. Uh, so if you have any final questions for Jill, get them over. Mm -hmm. We've got about five minutes. Um, Just enough time to finish this puppy up. Yeah, you're great at that, like, boom, right at the end. You got it. <laughs> we did that yesterday, too. You totally finished it. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Mm hmm. Someone asked earlier if you think live streaming has taught you anything about yourself as an Me. artist. That's an interesting question. Um, I need to be more confident. <laughs> like, just, just yeah. be okay with yourself. I really beat myself up a lot. Aww. Like, I don't know why I was like, I don't know. My mom was lovely and raised yeah. me nicely. Yeah, you're like so looking back on your life. Like, why am yeah, I like Yeah, I'm just, I tend to do Who that. And I, me? <laughs> I know a lot of other people do that too. And mm -hmm. it's just like, you know what? Whatever. Just be yourself and be cool. Like, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. what other people think in the end, you know? So, true. I think that's something that I've learned. Gotcha. How about you? <laughs> oh, that I've learned about <laughs> you? I just throw this out there. About me. <laughs> Um, no, not about me, but about yeah, yourself. About yeah. myself. I've kind of tried to accept myself as I'm not just one type of illustrator. Mm -hmm. I like to do a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate a lot of different types of work. Like I host so many different styles, talented people. Yeah. And I really learn a lot just from that, you know, hosting an editorial design stream where I'm not an editorial designer, but... I learned to think like one by the end of the week. Totally. Mm -hmm. Chat, what have you learned about yourselves? Oh, Pablo, where's the link to download the font? So I think we're gonna uh, tweak it a little bit because the X and the V yeah, were a little, a little messed little up. Yeah, something on there we need to fix. Yeah, so we'll fix that up and then get that out to you. Maybe we can do that right after the stream ends. Perfect. Totally. Okay. Get the last 
color on here. Ooh, I love that warmth at the bottom. Good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Julia, that's a great question. Jill, any tips on getting an internship in lettering or graphic design? Internship? I actually never did that. Oh. Um, but... I think just have a really good portfolio set up, yeah. a little website portfolio, and and just go to the places that you really would like to intern for and mm -hmm. talk to them, yeah. you know, set right. up an interview. Putting yourself out there is yep, you kind of the hardest part. There. Yeah, and you know, it does. it's not just your work, it's also yourself as a Definitely. professional. And it totally is, yeah. Your interpersonal skills are very important. Mm -hmm. Be brave. Be brave. You can do this. <laughs> Check out the Behance job board. There you go. All kinds of stuff on there. If I can do this Adobe Live thing, you can do that. I'm so like, proud of you. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. So brave. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Mark says, thanks, Jill. You are great, and I am inspired. You took a step and jumped out of your comfort zone. Your work Yay. speaks for itself. <laughs> thanks, guys. You're so nice. There you go. <laughs> yes. Uh, like I said, chat, this is our last day of the lettering week here on Adobe Live. Uh, make sure you're watching us at be.net slash live. Best way to chat with us, interact, enter the contests. Stick around. We've got Stefan up mm -hmm. next. It's beautiful. All done. <laughs> Stefan in the house. <laughs> woo woo. He's probably eating a lot of sugar, a lot of that candy. <laughs> He's all hopped up. Like a little tell. hopped up. <laughs> Get ready for this energy. It's coming at you quick. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, Stefan, I'm, other Stefan, I'm mm -hmm. glad this has helped you realize what you're good at. Really? Maybe real quick we can cover what we did today, like in like a minute. Okay, boom, so boom, boom. we did, um, we drew a bunch of biz. Drew a bunch of biz. <laughs> we made a font out of what your user submitted letters. Mm -hmm. We'll okay, get that so to that you soon. On. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're okay. There's my code. <laughs> in case you guys were wondering. That's the wrong thing. Daily. Okay, so you know, we lettered one phrase a bunch of different ways. Yeah. And that was fun. One phrase, three ways. Yep. Sorry, it takes me forever to turn these on and it's off. It's okay. I There's probably some fast way to do right. that. Right. You just tap it. Double tap. Double tap. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Got Adobe on your oh, side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazingly easier. More there easy. Whatever. Okay, so we did that. And then we also did, um, we made your font here, which was so mm -hmm. fun. Yes. And then uh, we did this giveaway. Oh this yeah, guy. gave away that. Got that out of my hair. Mm-hmm. And then, got uh, that out of your hair. <laughs> and then we painted this little page for Kathleen, because oh, she's a cutie. Thanks, Jill. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, chat, for fun. being here. <laughs> uh, so we covered fonts, we covered lettering, we covered mobile apps, and traditional painting. That's a lot of stuff. If you have any more questions for Jill, feel free to follow her on Instagram, check out our website, Jill Dehan, pretty much everywhere. Right? Yeah, just Jill underscore Dehan is pretty much what it is. Perfect. Everywhere. So stick around. We've got Stefan and Ari coming up next. Even though I don't see Ari, is it going to be you? No? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Stefan's going to be by himself. Just kidding. <laughs> but we will see you all very soon. Stick around for just a couple minutes and we'll be live mm -hmm. with hand lettering. Thanks so much for being Thanks, here. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.